Developing now, a suspect is in custody tonight for allegedly stabbing his ex-girlfriend to death in Bucks County. The victim was found dead inside of a car in Ben Salem. Shantae Lands is live outside the police department with more on the investigation. Shantae. Yeah, Alex, 45-year-old William Table was brought here to the Ben Salem Police Department for his arraignment. This is more than 12 hours after his ex-girlfriend was found stabbed to death. William, is there anything that you want to say? Silence from 45 year old William Table, who is now in Ben Salem Police custody. He's the ex boyfriend of 43 year old Teresa Priestley and was wanted in her murder. I heard a woman screaming, uh, Oh my God, oh my God. It was somewhere close, I don't know where exactly. And um, I didn't know what happened. Around 6.45 this morning, Priestley's neighbors recalled her yelling. Ben Salem police received uh, two 911 calls. First from a uh, woman stated that she needs help, that her boyfriend was going to harm her. Within a, a minute later, we received another 911 call for an accident. On the 3200 block of Humeville Road, Priestley was stabbed to death inside her own car. Investigators believe William Table was waiting for her when she left for work. They say Table broke the window of Priestley's car, forced him himself inside and began threatening her with a knife. Table also lived in Ben Salem. It appears they had were living together prior to this, but just recently he was uh, thrown out of the apartment and she just had her locks changed yesterday. SWAT arrived to Priestley's apartment complex, Village Square Apartments, shortly after the stabbing to find Table. Neighbors were evacuated. We heard um, like the someone banging on the back window and they were saying police. Detectives released this surveillance image of his vehicle in the Ben Salem area. He was captured nearly 12 hours later after police say he stabbed someone else in Philadelphia. The table has been charged with homicide, kidnapping, and possessing an offensive weapon. God made bad people too, and this is one of those bad people. And I spoke briefly with Teresa Priestley's family. They say that she was a good person who did not deserve to die. That's the very latest live outside of Ben Salem Police Department. Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Yuki and Alex. Shante, thank you.